Okay. So Sarah, I see you eat soup every day at work. Why are you eating soup every day? That's because I love to cook soup. So you you make the soup? Yes, it's very easy to make. So you cook it and then you just bring it to work every day? Yeah, I just make a lot on Monday and then I bring it to work every day of the week. Oh, nice. So how do you make the soup? What's your your secret? Well, I like to cook very easy. So I buy meat that's already cut up, usually chicken, and then some rice, usually brown rice. And then I buy some vegetables. So after I bought the ingredients, I chop them up. And I put them all together in water until it boils and add some seasoning. Okay. So you say the water boils. So as soon as the water boils, that's when you put in all the ingredients? Yes, that's right. So you don't put in the ingredients before the water boils? No. I guess it's just easier for the water to be hot because then the vegetables and the meat cook a little faster. So how do you give the soup flavoring? Um, I usually add salt and pepper, maybe some garlic, and depending on the type of soup, either maybe some soy sauce or lemon juice. Okay. Do you put in the flavoring after you put in the ingredients or before you put in the ingredients? Um, maybe after, but usually right about all at the same time. Okay. So I just put everything in at one time. And then after you cook the soup, do you put the soup in the refrigerator? Do you let it sit outside? I usually eat some right then. <laughs> and I also put it in containers for the week. But I let it sit in the containers out on the counter for a while for it to cool okay. before I put it in the refrigerator. All right. And so you don't put it in the refrigerator until it is cool? Until it's about room temperature. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And then how do you heat it up? Do you heat it up in a pot or do you heat it up in the microwave? In the microwave. It's uh -huh. the easiest. Yeah. Nice. So you make enough for five meals? Uh, maybe. Sometimes. Um, if I think I will get tired of eating it during the week, then maybe I'll just make enough for three or four meals. But if it's some kind that I think is really delicious and I know I'll want to eat it every day, then I'll make a lot. Well, if that happens... When you make the soup, you can make it for six or seven and give me a bowl. Okay. I'll do that next time. Oh, great. Thanks. Hi, Todd. Hey, Sarah. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, not bad. So I heard you were from San Francisco. That's right. Yeah, I was born there, and I lived in the city for many years. Cool. What is the most interesting thing about your city? Well, San Francisco has many interesting things, but the most interesting thing is probably the architecture. There's lots of very unique buildings, um, and the most unique building is probably the Transamerica building. It's a building like a pyramid, and it's nice. Wow, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. What is the most expensive area in San Francisco? Well, it is very, very expensive. Um, the most expensive area is a place called Pacific Heights. And it's on the highest hill in San Francisco, and it overlooks the bay. It's a really, really beautiful place. Mm. That, that area, by far, has the best views of the city. Mm. What is the most beautiful place in San Francisco? Mm. Well, actually, the most beautiful place is outside the city. It's a place called Mere Woods, and it has the tallest trees in the world. And some of these trees are really old. They're the oldest trees in North America. Some of them are over 2,000 years old. Wow. Sounds like some place I would like to see. So it sounds really expensive. Where's the cheapest place to live? The cheapest place to live is a place called Sunset. And Sunset is on the uh, west side. And the houses are kind of old and they're a little bit cheap. But one thing about Sunset is it has the nicest view of the ocean, and you could watch the sunset every night. That's why it's called the Sunset Area. Hmm. If I wanted to go there, when is the best time to visit? Ooh, the best time is probably in the fall, because that's when the weather is the nicest. 
it's not too cold and it's not too hot and it doesn't rain that much. So when would be the worst time to visit? The worst time to visit would be probably February and March um, because February and March are the coldest and wettest months. So, well, March isn't that cold, but sometimes it's wet, so it rains a lot. Wow, that sounds really great. I want to go there. Yeah, you should. It's a great place. Hey, Shirley. You're from Australia, right? Yeah, that's right. From down under. Okay. Are you from Sydney? No, I'm not from Sydney. Actually, I'm from Melbourne. Melbourne? Mm-hmm. Okay. So are there any nice parks in Melbourne? Well, you know, Josh, Melbourne is a great city. And one of the reasons is because there are lots of parks. There's a really big park right in the centre of the city. Is it beautiful? It's gorgeous. It's called the Botanical Gardens. And they have plants from many different places around the world. And there's a lake, a small lake in the centre. But what I really love about that park is at one time of the year, they have lots of big fruit bats that fly into the park and they hang upside down from the trees. They're really huge, like big sacks. It's very cool. That sounds beautiful. Yeah. So is there good shopping in your city? Oh, there's great shopping in Melbourne. You know, Melbourne has people from many different countries. So we have a great variety of things and clothing, cars, coffee shops, foods from many different countries. So it's a great place to shop. Wonderful. What about housing? Is there cheap housing or is it really expensive? Well, it's not cheap, but it's not as expensive as Sydney. Sydney oh. is the biggest city in Australia. It's very expensive to live. But in Melbourne, hmm, the housing is so-so. How do you get around in Melbourne? Do you take the bus? You can take the bus. But Melbourne has something very special that no other city in Australia has. We have a tram system. I think they're called trolley cars in America, maybe. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Yeah. Well, Melbourne has a really big tram system. So you can go lots of places in the city by tram. It's really good fun. What about the tram? Is it expensive? Uh, not so expensive. Cheaper than the bus. Maybe about the same as the train. Cheaper than a car. Hmm, probably one of the cheapest ways to travel in the city. What about schools in Melbourne? Is there a big university? Melbourne has three or four really big universities. And some smaller universities too. Also, they have some very good private high schools and some very good public high schools. Great. That sounds like a great place to go to school. It's a pretty great place to live. Hey, Shirley. Hey, Josh. So how was your weekend? Hmm, quite busy this weekend. Really? Those are hard. Yeah. So what did you do on Saturday? Well, Saturday morning, I usually clean the house. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of boring, but I have to clean the bathroom and then the kitchen and then the lounge room because I have lots of cats. Okay. And the cats leave hair everywhere. So I always have to clean on Saturday mornings. Yes, cats are messy. Yeah. So after you cleaned, what did you do? Well, in the afternoon, I went for a walk up the mountain. It was a beautiful sunny day. There were no clouds in the sky. Wow. It was gorgeous. So I walked up the mountain and I saw a ferret. A ferret? Yeah. Wow. They're a little, little furry animal 
four legs, tail, uh, not like a rabbit, but about the same size as a rabbit. Okay. And they're kind of gold brown color. Wow. Did you see any other animals on your walk? Mm, no. Okay. I didn't see any other animals on the ground, but I did see a beautiful bird flying in the sky. Wow. Do yes. you know what kind? I think it was an ibis. It's a big bird that usually walks in the water. It has long legs and it was white with a black head. Great. So after your walk, did you do anything else? Um, I went home and then I watched some TV. Okay. That was about it for my Saturday. Okay. What did you do on Sunday? Hmm. Sunday, I went to the art museum. Really? Yeah. Great. I really like to go and see new art, pictures or paintings or photographs or sometimes sculptures. Okay. So who's your favorite artist? Hmm. I don't really have a favorite artist, but I really like watercolors. Okay. So pictures that are painted with just soft, a kind of soft painting style. Do you like paintings of nature? I do like paintings of nature. I especially like paintings of flowers and animals. Okay. And places that have water, like lakes or rivers or the sea. Oh, that sounds like you had a great weekend. Yeah, it was good. Thanks. Okay. So, Anna, you're from Portugal, right? Yeah, right. Okay, because um, I'm actually thinking of going to visit uh, Europe this summer, and I thought Portugal would be a great place to visit. Oh, yeah, Portugal is great, especially in the summer. Um, it will be really warm, and um, you can go to lots of places in Portugal. Um, you can go to the north, where we have a lot of mountains, and um, you can do all kinds of activities like archery and horse riding. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Well, actually, I was thinking of going to the beach. Can you, can you give me some advice for what's the best time of year to go when perhaps there are not too many tourists around? Oh, yeah. If you want to avoid tourists, you should definitely not come in August. Um, August is really crowded and there are just so many people in the south of Portugal. Uh, you can try to come in June. Uh, June right. is already warm, but there are not too many people. So it will be easier for you to find accommodation. There are some really nice hotels and hostels around. <laughs> so um, what kind of place were you thinking of staying in? Well, actually... I don't really mind too much. Um, I I think I'd like to see what it's like to f maybe for 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 normal people in Portugal what it would be like to go on holiday and and have an authentic Portuguese experience. So maybe maybe I I don't really want to stay in a big international hotel. What what what's a typical Portuguese place to stay in that's nice for a summer holiday. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, in that case, you should definitely avoid the big hotels or any mm -hmm. hostels. There are some um, apartments that you can rent. So you can just live in an apartment by the beach. All right. And um, yeah, they're just in a normal building with other Portuguese people. But you can rent it and stay there. And it's really close to the beach. It's like a one minute walk. So really? it will be really convenient for you. And is this, this is by the Atlantic Ocean. Yes, yes, it is. All right, that that's, uh, sounds like a very good idea, staying at an apartment. Um, how much should I budget for that? Mm, I am not really sure. Um, it will probably be a bit more expensive mm -hmm. than a hotel. Really? But mm, not in the long term. You can pay about 30 euros per night, I think. Wow, that's For cheap. a nice location, <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you come with friends, though, you can also rent a villa, we have some villas also by the beach. Does it have a swimming pool? It does have a swimming wow. pool and they have plenty of room. So if you want to come with a big group, that's definitely a better option. That sounds like a great idea. I can invite my colleagues along. So do you have any final tips for me um, for my holiday in Portugal? 
Well, I mean, if you want to stay in the south, in the Algarve, then I definitely recommend you check out the nightlife. Um, it can be really lively and there are night markets and um, where you can buy lots of souvenirs and people just hang around. So I definitely recommend that. Okay, and what was the name again? The Algarve? The Algarve, yeah, that's the southern part of Portugal, Ooh, so you can't miss it. Gotta remember that. Thank you very much. So, Ana, you're from Portugal. Uh, what, can you tell me a little bit about your country? Yeah, sure. Um, Portugal is a really small country, actually. It's uh, right by Spain in Europe, and we have really nice weather there. It's really sunny most of the year and uh, really hot in summer. Mm -hmm. um, it can get really cold and really rainy in winter. Um, but yeah, overall, it's a really nice country to live in. And I've heard you have nice beaches in Portugal. Yes, we do. Um, I used to go to the beach every day um, with my family in the summer. It was really great. But the beaches can get really crowded, um, lots of people. So you might want to be a bit careful when you choose where to go. All right, I see. And um, where do you live in Portugal? I live in a small village actually you probably don't know it it's called palmela but it's it's south of lisbon and it's by the coast so it's really nice we get a nice view of the mountains and of the river so i really enjoy living there it's it's really quiet uh, not a lot of people a lot mm -hmm. of wine farms actually and really nice food you should Ooh, come and visit sometime i like wine <laughs> <laughs> um and so you have you have a good wine in portugal what what sort of food do you eat in portugal um, let's see, we, we get a lot of fish because um, mm -hmm. we're by the sea and um, so codfish is a traditional and sardines Ooh, and I mackerel, like sardines. yeah, um, it's really good and we also have um, really good desserts, so for example, uh, coffee cake, yogurt cake, um, we've got um, pastel de nata, which is kind of an egg tart thing, so I really recommend you try that with our coffee when you go there. All right, and um, and you speak Portuguese as your first language? Yes, I do. I speak Portuguese. It's a, it's not the same as Brazilian Portuguese, but it's really close, and we can understand each other. So that's All really right. great. And can you can you understand Spanish as well? Yeah, I can understand a little bit of Spanish, but um, there are some differences between Portuguese and Spanish. So. How do you say how do you say hello in Portuguese? Oh, you can say hola. Hola. <laughs> Yeah, it's fun. You should learn some Portuguese. Oh, I'd love to. Hi, I'm Mari. I'm here with Ron. Ron is from Hawaii. So, Ron, what's so special about Hawaii? Well, Hawaii is my home, but to people not from Hawaii, I think Hawaii is famous for its nice weather. It's uh, warm all year round. Also, it's known for its beaches. The beaches are very nice. And it's also known for its warm hospitality. The people are also very nice. So can you tell me more about the weather? It's always sunny. It never rains. It does rain, but often it rains and is sunny at the same time. So we have a lot of rainbows. So Hawaii is also famous for rainbows. That's nice. Um. Can you tell me more about the beach? We have beaches on all shores of the island, of all our islands. So there's many beaches to choose from. And often, some, some beaches have big waves, some beaches have small waves, and you can choose which beach to go to depending on whether you want to surf in big waves or you want to swim where there's no waves. Can you tell me maybe about the nature? in Hawaii? We have forests, so there's lots of animals like birds and small animals like um, wallabies. We have Hawaiian wallabies and um, they live in the forest. What's a wallaby? Wallabies, um, they're those little um, mammals. They came from Australia and they were introduced to Hawaii and now they're wild in Hawaii and they've become their own species. What do they look like? They look like little kangaroos, I, I think. Hmm, interesting. Uh, any other interesti interesting animals in Hawaii? We have a lot of pigs, wild pigs. 
we like to go hunting for them and we like to eat them. Are there any animals that live in the sea? There, we have nice coral reefs, so there's lots of beautiful fish in our coral reefs, and many people like to go snorkeling to look at our reefs. We also have turtles and um, seals in Hawaii. Are there any wh whales? We do have whales during the months of March until f February, I believe. They come from Alaska, and they come to Hawaii during those months, and then they return to Alaska. Wow, there are a lot of animals that live in Hawaii. Sounds like a great place to visit. Hi, I'm Mari. I'm here with my friend Ron. Today we're talking about food. So Ron, what's your favorite cuisine? My favorite cuisine has to be Hawaiian food. I grew up eating Hawaiian food, so every special occasion we had Hawaiian food. So now when I eat Hawaiian food, it always brings back good memories. Uh, what exactly is Hawaiian food? Traditional Hawaiian food is usually cooked under the ground in a hole with hot rocks and it cooks for maybe six hours or seven hours and when you take it out it's very salty because we use a lot of salt and it tastes really good. Usually meat, usually pork and other vegetables like taro and potato. So then what's your favorite Hawaiian dish? My favorite Hawaiian dish is called lao lao. It's pork or fish wrapped in leaves and put inside the underground oven. And it's very salty and very good. So the flavor is just salt? The flavor is salt and the, also the leaf flavor that it's wrapped in. Uh, what's your favorite dessert or junk food? My favorite dessert has to be cake and ice cream together. I love to eat cake and ice cream together. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Favorite ice cream flavor is strawberry and I eat and I like to eat that with chocolate cake. Mmm, sounds good. Do you like vegetables? Not so much. I don't like to eat vegetables, but I can eat them if somebody cooks them for me. What's your favorite vegetable? Favorite vegetable... I don't have a favorite vegetable, but I can eat vegetables like asparagus, broccoli, carrots, those types of things. Do you eat your vegetables raw, like salad, or do you prefer them cooked? I prefer them cooked. Thanks, Ron. Welcome. Hi, I'm Ron from Hawaii. I'm here with Mari from Japan. Today we're going to be talking about food. So Mari, what's your favorite cuisine? I think I like American food. What type of American food? I like hamburgers. Hamburgers. Is that your favorite dish as well? That is my favorite dish. Um, my favorite hamburger place is right near where I went to university and um, they have this hamburger called the Danish burger and the Danish burger has blue cheese inside the hamburger so I love my favorite dish has to be the Danish burger do you like any side things like french fries with your hamburger I love french fries but I know that eating hamburger and french fries is a little bit unhealthy so I always replace the hamburger the, the french fries for a salad a salad okay what about desserts what's your favorite dessert my favorite dessert has to be chocolate cake chocolate cake anything else do you like to eat it with anything no I, I like chocolate cake by itself um, Anything else? I like brownie sundaes, like brownies and cho brownies with um, vanilla ice cream. 
I guess my favorite dessert is anything chocolatey. Sounds good. So before you said you like to eat a salad, what type of salad, what type of vegetables do you like? I like all vegetables. I like them cooked or raw, um, but I don't like raw onions. Not raw onions. I really can't eat onions raw. That's probably the only vegetable I can't eat raw. That's interesting. So, Miss Naomi from, where is it you're from? Wales. Wales, <laughs> okay. So, and how old are you now? I'm 11. 11, okay. So, that means you are in, what would that be, junior school, secondary school? Uh, junior school. Junior school, okay. And, um, so, what grade is that in junior school? Six. Oh, grade six, okay. Tell me about your school. What kind of subjects do you study in junior school? We study art and maths and science and English and geography and history and RE. RE? What, what's RE? Religious education. Ah, okay. And uh, so you go to school from what time in the morning? About quarter to nine and it starts at five past. The first class is at five yeah. past. And then um, do you get a break? We get a break at half past ten and then lunch at twelve o'clock. Twelve, oh, twelve o'clock for how long? For an hour. An hour? Oh, nice. And then what, what do you do for lunch in, in Wales? Do, you, do, you have, do they have like a cafeteria where they cook for you? Or? Yeah, they have that and you can bring sandwiches. Oh, so you can bring your own sandwiches instead? Yeah. Okay. Have, what do you do? I normally bring sandwiches. Okay. Oh, is that because the dinners are no good or? They're okay, but I don't really like them as much as sandwiches. Oh, okay. And what what kind of food do they do they serve up in the in the canteen? Uh, they serve roast dinners and Roast dinners? Yeah. What's a roast dinner? It's like a meat and vegetables. Okay. Okay. Sounds very simple. <laughs> yeah. And pizza and chips and um ham and all sorts of stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, it sounds good. And do they give you lots of homework? No. Oh, really? No. Oh, that's good to hear. So what's your favourite subject then in, in junior school? Art. Art? Yeah. Okay, why is that? I don't know. I just like um, painting and drawing. Okay. And then what's the, what's the subject that you find most boring? Maths. Maths? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of maths. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess uh, if you're in grade six, you'll be going on to your next school soon? Yeah, secondary school. Okay. And uh, are you looking forward to that? Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay, well, it's very nice talking to you and good luck in your next <laughs> school. So, Naomi, uh, so you're from Wales and you're 11. So what does an, an 11 year old girl do for fun in Wales? I do music. I play the piano and the violin. Okay, how long have you played the piano for? Um, since I was about eight. At uh, eight, and th what about the violin? Um, about the same. Okay, and what kind of level are you at now then, at the piano? Um, I'm on, I just passed my grade three. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> so that's grade three of? What is that? Of, um, you have different levels. And okay. Yeah. And it starts at grade one. One. And it gets harder. Up till what's the what's the highest um, grade you can get? Grade eight. Oh, grade eight. So you're grade three now. Yeah. So you, I guess the next one you're going to do is grade four. Yes. Okay. And so what do you have to do? What kind of test is it? It's um, you learn three pieces. Three pieces of music. Yeah. Right. And um, you have to um, play them, and you have to do um, some singing. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And some... Is that like sight reading? You look at the the script, and you have to sing the notes, or...? Um, no, somebody um, plays a tune for you, and you have to sing it the exactly the same tune that they played. And oh, there's wow. sight reading where you have to um, look at a page and then play it on the piano. Oh, wow. Is that hard? Yeah. Yeah. I can imagine. So how often, how much do you practice the piano then? Um, 
It probably should be once a week, uh, once a day. Yeah. But I normally do it um, three times a week about that. Okay. And you enjoy it then? Yeah. Okay. Great. And you play the violin too? Yeah. Yeah. And is that fun? Sort of. <laughs> it's not as fun as the piano. Oh, okay. Okay. And how do you do any other things in your spare time? Uh, I do um, guides and swimming. Guides? Yeah. What's guides? It's like um, a group of girls and they do activities and everything. And they meet each week yeah. to do activities. Okay. Like, what kind of activities do you do? Well, you can go, you go camping sometimes. Yeah. And you just do um, uh, activities like um, sometimes you do sports and outside activities. And lots of things. Okay. Oh, is it like kind of like the Cub Scouts for yes. the boys? Okay. So you have to wear a uniform. Um. Yes. Okay. What? Can you explain the uniform for me? It's sort of this dark blue, and you can either wear jeans or joggers or these um trousers. Joggers. Yeah. What are joggers? The trousers that you wear for sports. Oh, for like jogging. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. Well, okay. Well, sounds like you have you do a lot of fun things in your spare time. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's very nice to talk to you and good luck with your piano and your violin. Thank you. So, Naomi, uh so you're from Wales and you're 11. So, what does an an 11-year-old girl do for fun in Wales? I do music. I play the piano and the violin. All um, right. And I play um, sports, netball. And netball? Uh, yeah. What's that? It's like a basketball a bit. Yeah. But, um, and mostly girls play it. And um, you have to, you have um, two teams and you have to try and get the ball in each other's nets. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's just like basketball, you bounce yeah. it around. Well, you can, you don't really bounce it that much. You can only bounce it once. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. And you play it indoors then? or? Yeah, mostly indoors. In the summer, sometimes outdoors. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, so you can only bounce it once? Yeah, there's three different passes you can do. But um, one is you use a bounce called bounce pass. Okay. And you can only um, use a bounce once. Okay. To pass it to your teammate? Yeah. Okay. And what are the other passes? Um, there's chess pass. And what's that? It's just sort of a straight pass from chest to the other person's chest. Okay. And um, shoulder pass, which is a sort of lob. Like a lob, you throw it over yeah. your shoulder kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. So it's just, well, like basketball, then somebody throws it in the net, and then how many points do you get? Um, It's a one point for every net, every um, ball that you get in the net. Oh, okay. And how long is a game of netball? Um, probably about an hour. Oh, really? Yeah. So, like, half an hour each side, or...? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Mm. And how many people are there on a team? Seven. Seven? Yeah. Okay, nice. Hi, I'm Ron from Hawaii. I'm here with Mari from Japan. Today, we're going to be talking about entertainment and how often we do these things. So, Mari, how often do you watch TV? I watch the news in the morning, and when I come home at night, I sometimes watch um, TV. Do you have a favorite <laughs> TV show? I don't have a favorite TV show. Okay. <laughs> How often do you go to the movies? I really like going to the movies. Um... I think I go maybe once a month or once every two months. And other than that, do you rent movies? I No, I don't rent movies, but sometimes I download movies. Um, I like to watch comedies, romantic comedies, and a little bit of drama. Which, which is your favorite movie you watched recently? My favorite movie, or I don't know if it was my favorite movie, but a movie that I watched recently is called 27 Dresses. It is about a girl 
or a woman who was bridesmaid 27 times. And that's a romantic comedy? It is. What about reading? Do you like to read books? I do like to read books. Um, right now, I'm really busy with, with work, so I don't have a lot of time to read. But when I'm on vacation or whenever I have free time, I like to read books. What kind of books? Um, I like to read nonfiction, usually, um, like biographies of people. And I also like to read about um, like teaching practices so that I could become a better teacher and um, a little bit of fiction. And what about concerts? Do you enjoy going to concerts? I don't go to music concerts. Um, I don't think I've ever been to one, actually. But I like to go see musicals, and I also like to go to sporting events. Hi, this is Mari. I'm here with Ron. Today we'll talk about types of entertainment and how often we do these things. Let's first start with watching TV. Ron, how often do you watch TV? Usually I watch TV every day. I don't watch TV very long, but I usually watch TV every day. Usually I watch the news. Why just the news? I like to know what's going on in the world, so I usually watch CNN or BBC. And that's it. Nothing else. Usually, yes. Usually. Other than that, sometimes I'll watch sporting events, such as baseball or football. But that's it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next, do you go to the movies? How often do you go to the movies? I don't go to the movies very often. Maybe twice a year, I would say. That's it? Yeah. Do you rent movies? I rent movies more than I go to the cinema, but also not very often. What kind of movies do you like? I like funny movies, comedies. Comedies. Uh, what's the most recent movie you watched? I watched Home Alone last night, but it was on TV. I didn't rent the movie. Okay. Uh, how often do you read books? I don't like <laughs> reading, so I don't read books very often. The only time I do read books is for school purposes. What kind of books do you read for school? Well, my major is international relations, so usually I read international relations books, if I have to read. If you have to read. So nothing, no books for pleasure? Not for entertainment. So when you're on the airplane, you don't read? No. Okay. I try to watch the movies on the airplane. Okay. Uh, how often do you go to concerts? I go to concerts once in a while. Um, in Hawaii, there aren't many concerts. So when there are concerts, I try to go. What do you go see or what type of concerts? I like Hawaiian music, so I go to Hawaiian concerts. And if a big star from America comes, I usually try to go also. So music concerts. Right, music concerts. Okay, Ron, thanks. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Ron from Hawaii. I'm here with Mari from Japan. Today we'll be talking about abilities. So Mari, are you a good cook? I like to cook. Um, more specifically, I like to cook for people. I like to have people over and eat with people. I don't really like to eat alone, so I don't like to cook for myself. I like to cook for other people. Um, but more than cooking, I like to bake. Baking? What do you like to bake? Cookies and brownies and cake. That sounds very good. I would like to eat one of your brownies. <laughs> Okay, next. Um, are you a good singer? I am terrible at singing. I don't like going to karaoke, and I don't like to sing. I like music, but I can't sing for my life. Um, I 
yesterday, or I guess in class, it was a student's birthday, and I made my students sing happy birthday, but they wouldn't start, so I had to start them off singing, and my voice was so bad that they started laughing at me, so I'm just a terrible singer. That's funny. Okay, next. Are you a good dancer? No, I'm not a good dancer. I can't dance at all. I used to, when I was younger, my parents enrolled me in ballet classes, so I did ballet for like six years, but I am not very good at dancing. So you're a teacher now, right? So were you a good student when you were a student? I was a good student because um, cause I'm a dork. No, um, yeah, I think I was a good student. I tried hard in all of my classes. I always did my homework. I was always focused and took notes during class. Um, if I didn't understand something, I would either ask questions in class or speak to the teacher or professor after class. Um, I always really liked learning, and so I think that's why I was a really good student. And athletics. Were you a good athlete, and are you a good athlete now? That's a tricky question. Um, I like sports, and I like playing sports. I, 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 am, I don't think I'm a very good athlete, probably compared to you. I'm probably not, but I really enjoy playing sports. Um, in high school, I played soccer. I ran cross country. Um, I played ice hockey and a little bit of lacrosse. And which one was your favorite sport? My favorite sport was ice hockey. I'm Mari from Japan. I'm here with Ron from Hawaii. Today we're going to be talking about abilities, so let's start with food. Can you cook? I can't cook well, but I do cook. So I think the reason why I can't cook well is because I can eat anything, so I don't try very hard to make it taste good. What do you like to cook? I like to barbecue outside on the grill. What do you put on your barbecue? When I cook meat, I don't put much. Only salt, pepper, and a little bit of seasoning. Okay, good. Uh, next, do you think you're a good dancer? No, I don't think I'm a good dancer, and I don't really try to be a good dancer either. Do you not like to dance? I don't like to dance. At all? Right. Um, I heard that you're a good line dancer. I would like to learn how to line dance, and I do like country music, but I haven't officially been taught how to line dance. So you don't dance at all? No. Okay. Next, um, are you a good singer? No, I'm not a good singer, but I do enjoy going to karaoke. What do you like to sing? In Hawaii, when I go to karaoke, I enjoy singing Hawaiian music. If I'm in Japan, I like to sing other English songs that they have, usually country music or 80s or 90s music. Good. That's good. Um, do you think you're a good student? I don't know if I'm a good student. Growing up, I was not a good student, but now I am trying harder to be a good student. How were you not a good student growing up? I didn't enjoy going to school, and I didn't try very hard in school. Now I try a little harder. I make an effort. Can you talk more about your effort? What do you do to try to be a good student? I try to listen to the teachers now instead of doing my own thing, and I try to complete everything with good quality. That's good. And last, do you think that you're a good athlete? Growing up, I was a good athlete. I played uh, a few sports. Um, now, I don't play any sports anymore because I'm old. But growing up, I think I was a good athlete. What sports did you play? I played American football, 
baseball, and soccer. Which one is your best sport? I would say football. American football is my best sport. How long did you play? I played、um, since I was 11 until age 22. So for 11 years? Yeah. And you played when you were in university? I played at the University of Hawaii, yeah. 